To make ice cream treats, you first have to make the ice cream. It all begins with fresh cream. The factory stores it in refrigerated silos set just a few degrees above freezing. The silos feed a high-speed mixer that blends the cream with other ingredients. The main dry ingredients are powdered skim milk and plant-based stabilizers and emulsifiers. Stabilizers prevent the ice cream from crystallizing, and emulsifiers allow the mix to bond with air during the whipping process. The other ingredients are sugar and corn syrup. After about three minutes of mixing, a pumping system moves the mixture into pasteurization tanks and heats it to 162 degrees for half an hour, killing any bacteria and activating the stabilizers. Then the factory homogenizes the mixture a process that breaks up the fat globules, giving the ice cream a smooth texture. The mixture is cooled and concentrated vanilla flavoring is added. Then the concoction is chilled and whipped for about 15 seconds. Whipping blends the mix with air, transforming it from liquid to a soft solid without air. The finished product would come out looking like frozen milk rather than ice cream if it wasn't whipped. The ice cream sandwich wafers are made of chocolate cake ingredients. A filling machine feeds two lines of wafers toward an injection pipe. Just as two wafers come together, the machine injects a third of a cup of vanilla ice cream in between the pipe's head, fits the ice cream into a rectangular slab that fits perfectly between the wafers. All this happens at a rate of 140 ice cream sandwiches per minute. As the sandwiches move on to packaging, the filling is still ice cold from the freezing phase, so there is no threat of meltdown. The packaging system raises each sandwich into a wrapper, then folds and tucks the ends. The next machine counts the sandwiches and inserts them into boxes. Once sealed, the boxes go directly into a storage freezer at minus 22 degrees. On another line, ice cream cone production is underway. A feeder drops pre-wrapped sugar cones in a holder on a conveyor belt. Sprayers coat the insides with a chocolatey layer, which add flavor and creates a barrier between the cones and ice cream, so the cone remains crispy until you eat it. Next, nozzles squirt in the ice cream filling. One production line, two flavors. One row gets vanilla ice cream, the other chocolate. Now for a tasty surprise in the cone's core, an injection of liquid caramel. This factory also makes chocolate and strawberry sauce inside. Next, a chocolate-favored liquid topping. Then the crunchy finishing touch, a layer of chocolatey coated puffed rice. Finally, the cones move under a lid dispenser that applies a wax-coated paper lid to each one. A heating element instantly melts the wax, sealing the lids to the cone's paper sleeve. From here, the ice cream cones go into boxes, then straight into the freezer, ready to take a licking.